Hello, today I will be showing you how to draw a sea dragon. First, you draw that shape for the eye. Two curves, curved lines for the iris and that curved line for the shine and then you color in. Color it in. I best up draw the head once, but it is that shape. It's that shape. Why do I make dots everywhere? Then you draw the mouth. You could do whatever expression you want. And did the jaw. That time I made it too thick. I tried curving that to add emotion, but I just decided to go with that a different one. And then you draw the horns. I like to draw horns like that, but you could do them however you want. And then the ears, you don't have to draw the ears if you don't want to. And you draw the head scales. I use curved lines to represent each scale. And I drew that because sea dragons have those apparently. This is based off of a sea wing from Wings of Fire. And you draw the like webs on the back. I'm not the best at, at explaining things. You add the webs between them and get started on the neck with an S, with two S shapes. I met the outline of the neck anyway. Then you draw the arms with the claws. I tend to draw them too small, sometimes. Anyway, after that you draw the wing. Here I couldn't decide whether I wanted it to fold in or not, but I decided to make it spread out. That was me accidentally forgetting to make the claw curve, like the claw on the wing. Then you draw like those lines and they go smaller as you get down towards the body. And then you add the webs between the mutant curved lines. And that curved line to show where the claw is. And you draw the other wing. I drew this behind the wing we just drew, but like I said last video, draw it wherever you want. I made the claw again. Time for the underbelly. I used those V's to represent the scales on the underbelly, but you could use it, use or curve lines. Anyway, it looks like I'm drawing scales here, but they're actually gills. And we continue the webs on the back. I needed to empty that out. And that will remove that mess right there soon. That's me making the webs. Here's me cleaning up the stuff. The random lines kind of just all over the place. This is me drawing the glow scales. I use these shapes, but you could use whatever shape you want literally like you could do swirls line patterns whatever 
and I drew the glow scales on the arms. Same thing as the scales under their eyes. You could do whatever shape you want, swirls, line designs, whatever. And I drew a dot between them because water equals flashes and you get the idea. That's me finishing up the glow scales. And I forgot to remove that earlier. I don't know how. That's me drawing the belly with the underbelly that sounded weird. That's me drawing like this fin they have on their like belly. And that's me drawing the other arm. For some reason, I've been interested or like obsessed with drawing dragons with taking a taking a step. Okay, time for the back legs. You do that shape and then the claws, then the backside and curve lines to show the claws. Same thing with the other one, but it overlaps. You know what overlap is? Of course you do. That's me drawing the glow scales on the legs. Same thing with all the glow scales I've done so far. That's the web going. You get the idea. That's me trying to make space for the tail. And I did and I did it. I I genuinely don't know how. And then I drew the outline of the tail using curved lines. You could do it in any position you want. I drew the underbelly like that with the underbelly scales. Yeah, it's except the scales to scales are equal. Anyway, so you make the webs and they end. You make the webs on the back. And the sea dragon tails, according to Wind Zafara, end in like very strong area, so I try to do that. And um, let me explain this real quick. So, my dad asked me what the canvas size was. So, yeah. You see, you see flame burn from last video. Anyway, back to the video. I made, I accidentally tried to draw like that, but I made the glow scales. You could do any design you, design you want, but I came up myself with this one because you know what? It's pretty. Also, if you notice, I'm going in a certain pattern here. One of the, like, eye things and three of those stripes. Two of those eye things and then three of those stripes. That's what I meant. Yeah, that's the pattern. Well, notice the end of the tail is really skinny, and uh, I'm not used to drawing thick dragon tail, and so you just have to go with it. You can make it thick if you want, though. I don't know what that was. Anyways, now that we're pretty much done with the line art, except some, like, details, let's cut... Let's color it in. I used this aquamarine color for the eyes. Because I think it's really pretty. And I used this pale aqua color for the patterns I wanted on the wings. Um, you could use any pattern you want on the wings though. You don't have to do this specific pattern. Especially when you're trying to copy it exactly down that's gonna be impossible 
Anyways, I'm gonna draw these all glowing and like last episode, it would be better to use colored pencils and shade over all the other colors. If you're replicating this on paper, that is. I will try to keep in mind that these tutorials will be replicated on paper or at least try to be replicated. That's me making it on the little wibbles. But yeah, and if you're a Wings of Fire fan, you all know that sea wings have webbed feet, but I didn't do that because first up, you, it wouldn't be obvious. And second off, it'll just kind of look weird because I'm not great at it. Oh yeah, and I somehow forgot to add the webs to the spines on the tail, so let me real quick do that. There we go. And we use that color I was using for the webbing. Yeah, that's me finishing up. Anyways, in case you haven't seen my last video, you'll know that that random circle. Okay, if you haven't seen last video, I will just inform you that the random circle that pops up, it's like grabbing colors and then using the exact same color. I mean, you get, you get what I'm saying, right? Right? That's me using a lighter shade for the glow scales. I noticed I've used a lot of aqua in this. That's me finishing coloring the glow scales or whatever. one mistake and I'll see you guys I dare you to try to guess what that mistake was that's me coloring every glow scale Silence is really awkward, so let me break it. That's me slightly emptying out more because for some reason I decided to leave it black until this moment. And, okay, it went through the smallest gap ever, I don't know how. And time to, I think it's... Coloring the scales here, and yeah, for some reason the computer just closed and ignore what I said last time. And anyway, I was coloring the scales, and I like to color the top scales and the claws the same color, cause oh yeah, and the and the spines for the fins. That's me furnishing everything up. That's me having to extend a line because there was a gap and that tool I used that kinda a end. Okay, sorry, I was talking really weird. But the tool I was using to color it, it in will slide through any gap it could find. That happened. Oh yeah, and when I color these, it progressively gets lighter. 
TKA. This will be like the base color. Don't, the arms and wings and legs and tail will be mainly this color. And uh, I, I think lower color, yeah, time for the lower, the lowest scale area. And time for the underbelly. Yeah, I forgot. If you're wing the fire fan, I forgot to add the square-ish glow scales. And uh, I added them onto the neck and chest, but I was lazy to add them to the belly and the tail. Anyway, I used this I used that color to color in the ears and whatever you call that thing. And uh I don't think I ever use that color anymore. Yep, I switched it. But these are for the fins and wings and it just makes the patterns I made pop. I strongly recommend this color if you are drawing, if you are following this tutorial. Awkward silence. Okay, just fill in everything already. Come on, almost there. There we go. And, um, I think I realized that, like, I don't remember. Anyway, I think I realized that the, it didn't do the belly thing. And, yeah, I just did that. And, um, I forgot to color the underbelly on the actual belly. I'm not the best at describing and explaining things. Anyway, this is me doing the background and I went with like a, a beat. And I added some slight shading to this because I didn't do shading on the last one. By the way, there's a very, there's a kind of bad sunset, so draw your own sunset. That's me testing colors for like speckles on the song. And yeah, that was, this is perfect color for it. That's me drawing. I think I was drawing a palm tree. I don't remember. Oh, yep. I'm definitely drawing a palm tree. So I drew the fronds like that, but you don't have to. That's me using that color for the ocean. The little bit of ocean that exists on this picture. I used white for the main color of the sun, the sunset I was talking about, but once I, once I added the glow and everything, it just looks so bad. So, yeah. Just, I think I was choosing a color for like the midnight sky. Midnight was the wrong word. So I chose that color for the sky. And uh... I, I don't know what I was doing in this part. I don't remember. But I think it was me adding a little bit of starring. If you know what that...
Okay, our time got these stars on the dragon's wound. But who cares? I don't care. So, comment if you care. So, That's me adding the very bad glow. At first, it's okay, but it progressively gets worse. Yeah, that's what. That is me adding glow to the light up scales. Adds glow to every shingle glow scale in the picture of exit. That was weird. That's me adding glow to every single glow scale. And I will be adding glow to the patterns on her wing. I think I did that after I finished the ones under, under like below the eye and on the arms and legs and tail, you know. There's not really much to talk about, but I. I realized I forgot to add those glow scares. I was just lazy to add a liner. So I just cut them out and and filled them and then added glow to them. And I was too lazy to add a glow to the belly and their tail. That's when I filled in the underbelly on the belly. That sounded sort of weird. Okay, this is me lighting up the patterns on the like wings and fins. In the like in the like last clip you can see that I accidentally put some of the stars on the wings, but they're fairly visible, so who cares? Like I said, comment if you can. One of the swirls on one of the fins on the tail turned out like a donut shaped thing. I don't know how to describe it. And I think that's all the glow needed done. That's me grabbing that color in the... Uh... Oh, 
O E O. That's me adding shading. I forgot. Anyways, this was the shading I talked about earlier, and uh, uh, yeah. It's simple. I used the gel pen tool to like, like, add darker area below the scales. And I didn't add highlights because what, well, who cares? The whole thing is pretty much glowing. That's me adding shading to like the gills. Once I tried to add shading to another drawing, but that on that one, it just kind of looks cursed. That's me adding shading to the thin rules. Enough sarcasm, let's keep going. I can't remove sarcasm if someone help. Sorry, I said sarcasm, I meant to say sarcasm. Okay, what is going on? What is going on with me? So that's me adding shading and uh, I pretty much use this one color for the rest of the shading. I don't remember which colors I used because I'm pretty sure this was recorded like at least two weeks ago, but um, yeah. Ladder shading to claws. Why not put so much detail? Like, what is going on? The solo and the sand and the claws. Okay, okay. Why? Why do I keep speaking like that? That. That's what. For me, adding shading everywhere it needs to be. I already added shadows because I don't think highlights would exist because most or how like half of the thing is glowing. That's me adding shading to the raised calendar. I first went with that round shape, but uh, quickly changed it to make it more realistic. You could see me make mistakes on it, but yeah, to, to end it ended up looking better than ever, and that's what matters, right? Right? What am I doing with life? More shading, more shading on the tail, the head, 